Hello there and welcome to Dolan Bikes. Now if you can give me a P, give me an R, give me an E. No wait, that's going to take too long. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Dolan Proficio Aluminium Road Bike Unboxing and Assembly Video. My name is John and I'm here to talk you through every step of that very process. So, let's get started. Now to build up your Proficio, you'll just need three, that's right, three simple tools. Those being a 4mm Allen key, a standard torque wrench and a good pair of scissors. Step one, nice and simple, what we've all been waiting for, take your scissors and open up the box to look at the wonders inside. So there we go, let's see what we've got. So this is what your Proficio should look like when you open the box, gleaming very gloriously in its lovely orange colour. Now, what you're going to notice is that your handlebars are detached, your front wheel is detached and because it's a rim brake model, the quick release should be taped to your front wheel box. I'm just going to leave the wheel and the quick release in the box for now because your seat post will also need attaching and this can be located just down here next to the rear wheel and that's what we'll be attaching first. So, to fit your seat post what you'll do first is take this bit of cardboard out. There we go, just put it to one side. Then you should be able to reach down and grab your seat post from below. You could be able to just lift in the rear wheel up slightly to make it a bit easy for yourself. There we go. Now what you're going to do is take your 4mm Allen key and slide your post into your seat tube. Just at a random height for now. Then you're going to tighten that up with your Allen key. There we go. But since we've only hand tightened that for now, it's now, now time to take our torque wrench and tighten that up to 6 Newton meters which is the maximum torque setting for this clamp. There we go. So that's our seat post nice and secure in our new Proficio. So now it's time to take our bike out of the box and get it nice and secure. If you don't have a bike stand in this situation, what we suggest doing is taking this bit of foam that forks resting inside the box Pop it on the floor, put the forks back into the foam, then you can lean the bike against a secure surface like a wall or a kitchen unit or something like that. If you do have a bike stand, there we go. Now, the next step is going to be to take away all the bubble wrap and tape and foam that's surrounding our lovely new bike so we can attach our handlebars. Just a quick pointer before we get started, we do not suggest using a stainless knife or a blade of some sort at this point because you're more at risk at scratching the frame. You best use the scissors like you did before to open the box. So now that our bubble wrap and our tape has all been removed, what we're going to do, as I mentioned before, is attach our handlebars. For this you're going to need your 4mm Allen key, take off each of these four stem bolts here, then pop your bars in, make sure they're adjusted correctly, not tilting too far upwards or downwards. Then you're going to tighten each of the four stem bolts back up again to 5 Newton meters. So now that your bars have been fitted to the end of your stem, what you're going to do is take your reliable torque wrench and tighten each of the four bolts up to five newton meters, as I mentioned before. Now with the stem bolt, it's important just to do one rotation in each bolt, at a, one at a time, so that way they get tightened a bit more evenly and you're not going to risk damaging your brand new handlebars. There's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. So there you go, there your handlebars are nice and secure on the end of your stem. So the final part of your bike assembly process will be to of course fit the front wheel. To do that you're of course going to take it out of the box, but also at the same time not forgetting to also take your quick release skewer out of the box as well. For this, you'll just take off the end cap, 
and one of the springs. I'm going to take your wheel and slide the QR through the centre of the wheel like that, putting the spring back on first, and you can screw the end cap back on after that. Just on enough so that doesn't fall off by itself. Then before you fit it to the front fork, what you're going to do is open up the front brake calipers, just they're a bit wider um, for the tyre and the wheel to go through. So now it's time to pop the wheel in. There we go. Making sure it's nice and secure, tightening it with the quick release lever on this side. There we go. Now once the wheel's in, you can close that switch again on the brake calipers so that it, they're nice and close to the braking surface. And there you go, your front wheel is attached to your bike. So there we have it folks, your Dolan Proficio aluminium road bike is fully assembled and ready to ride. You're gonna rule the road in all of your cosmic orange glory. That's right, I said cosmic because this is of course what the great deep depths of space do indeed look like. But alas, I am not Neil deGrasse Tyson. I am not here to talk to you about the great expansive universe that we all live in. I am John from Dolan Bikes and I'm here to build a road bike for you. But now that I've done that, if you have any further questions about the Proficio, you can find the link to it in the description down below and that'll take you directly to our website. Alternatively, feel free to give us a call or drop us an email and we will do our best to assist you in any way we can. Follow us on our social media channels, those are in the links down in the description as well, for all the latest news and updates about Dolan Bikes. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to our YouTube channel for more videos about all things Dolan. Thank you so much for watching, we hope you enjoy riding your new road bike.